What's up, my name is Devin, also go by Infinite or Proud by Infinite, and today we're gonna be talking about the best analog lab bangs that you can get right now. Let's get it, bro. As you can see, as you can see, my collection, kinda up there. It's kinda up there. It ain't looking too bad, you feel me? Oh, 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 I know y'all see this. I know y'all see this. Let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I make analog lab banks. So obviously I'm gonna include my own on the list. It just makes sense because if I made it, I like it and I'm gonna think it's some of the best. You feel me? So we just start off with one that is easily one of my favorites right now. And I've been going to it like daily, like daily, 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 summer nights. So this bank right here is made by me and Lifestyle did it. And we decided to collab on a bank because he does a lot of R&B stuff. I do a lot of West Coast stuff. He does a little bit of West Coast stuff. I do a little bit of R&B stuff so we just kind of felt like like putting the two together would just make a lot of sense especially when you think of artists like blast and larry june they have a good hybrid of like r&b elements within their beats you feel me we just felt like it was only right to make a bank all those types of vibes into one area so as you can see 70 presets right here and you got just like a variety of just leads E pianos, pads, basses, little hybrid sounds, everything like that. Now let's demo some of the sounds real quick. Easy, easy, beautiful. This one, Lifestyle did it. I really, really like this one. Beautiful. Now, boom. I added this preset specifically because everybody always asks me about a sign lead whenever I use one. It's almost like clockwork. Every single time I go like... I do something like that, everyone's like, bro, what's the preset, what's the preset, what's the preset? And I bounce around to a couple different ones, so I made sure to just make my own for this bank, just so I can always use this one and I can always tell people the correct preset. We can even low-key go in here and I can just show y'all like what I did, it's pretty simple. So we got the sign lead, you feel me? So we got a little sign waveform. We have it on legato right here. I took down the sustain a little bit, turned up the decay a little bit, and I turned up the attack a little bit. Because when you go into a lot of other sign lead presets, you have to mess around with the attack. And that's something that a lot of people don't know. Like for instance, if we open up Purity real quick and we click on the one that everybody likes to use, See how it kind of has that click right there? So usually whenever people do use this preset, they'll go over to edit and they'll go over to the amp envelope and they'll just drag it to the right. So it gets rid of that click. So yeah, of course you can always do this, but at least me in my life, I don't want to like have to touch anything. I want things to be as quick as possible and I want them to be as efficient as possible as well. So that's why I do little things like this. I added delay, reverb, you know, just trying to make it sound good off the rip. You feel me? Like just, so you just don't have to think about it. You click the preset and that's it. Just having a preset where I don't have to add anything, it just makes, the beat making process way smoother. Then we got the Kalen lead right here. And then also this has like some dope synth basses. I believe Lifestyle had like some fire basses that he threw in here as well. Oh yeah, I really like the shoreline bass that he did. Bro. Oh, we got this one right here too that he did. Yeah, I mean, just in case you want to use this for some G-Funk stuff, got some right here for you, you know what I mean? Now for the second analog lab bank that we're going to go over is Artillery Volume 2. This one is by Max Shooter, and it's in collaboration with Ezza. This one's really hard, and it also has one of the ARPs that y'all ask me about all the time, bro. Like, this one right here is the Chain Gel. The Chain Gel? Yes, yeah, it's Chain Gel. That's, that's how you read. <laughs> telling you right now y'all always ask me for this one. actually i think if we go into the multiverse kit i used it i want to say on the breakdance loop right there, you can hear it. Mm, that part. but also has like a lot of other dope sounds like 
that's a dope key right there. Kind of like a piano, but it got like a little mix of like other sounds in it too. Pads too. That's dope because it's just like a really universal pad. You can throw in any genre and it'll just work. And then also these two sequences right here are just like arps as well. So even though it is a trap bank, you feel me? You can still use it for West Coast stuff. Really, really fire. I like this one too. This one's hard. But yeah, just a lot of dope sounds in here. I, I can probably just click on some random ones too. You feel me? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Mmm. You might have to save that for later. That one was kind of hard. As you could tell, I've used this bank a lot and it's also pretty safe. Like we clicked on a whole bunch of presets and ain't none of them been whacked. Now for the third bank that we're going to be talking about is Anti-Phase. And I believe this is by Noah Cuz. Cuz? I don't know how to say it. I've never said his name out loud now that I think about it. Um, but I like this bank because it has a lot of usable sound. So like, you know, when you get a bank and you're like, dang, I feel like I only use like 10 out of the 50 presets. With this bank right here, I feel like you're gonna have a higher percentage of which ones you use. So let's just go over a couple of them real quick. Really, really usable sound. Like every single person who makes a beat can use that sound. That's hard. Yeah, let's click on a couple other ones. Yeah, I for sure will use this one for sure. You see what I mean? Like a lot of these sounds, they aren't like crazy experimental. They're just like really, really usable sounds. So that one's a little wonky. That's fire though. That's a that's a very like universal pad. Like you can use that pad anywhere. All right, now shout out Vision EXE Vices Two. Now this is actually one of the first banks that I ever got when it came to Analog Lab Bank. You feel me? And I've actually been watching Vision's tutorials for like a very very long time. But fuck all that. You feel me? Let's get into the sounds, brother. A lot of dope sounds, especially if you're going for like a trap sound. Travis, Mike Dean, things like that. You're gonna like this bank. Nice little sound. I guess also if you're into like Q beats and stuff like that, this would be a fire bank for you. Hard, hard, I like this. You know what, I never use this instrument right here when I'm sound designing, but like, we went over quite a few sounds that use that and I might need to now too, because like, every time I see this, like, it's usually hard, you feel me? We gotta give another shout out to one of the homies real quick. The Dark Moon Bank from Loop Legend. Hey, Loop Legend got some diehard fans. Cause I remember I made a post on Instagram one time talking about like some of my favorite YouTubers that I watch. And I put Loop Legend in there and people like start freaking out. They're like, oh, Loop Legend's the GOAT. He's the greatest. Like, oh, uh, Loop Legend. <laughs> but yeah. Die hard fans, like them motherfuckers be going hard for him, bro. So Loop Legend making an analog lab bank makes sense. Whenever you hear his beats, like they're always crazy and unique. So knowing that going into this, I was really hoping to get a lot of crazy, unique presets that can like make my beat stand out. And he delivered on that. I ain't gonna lie. Cause these sounds right here, bro, watch. Like, that's crazy. 
That one's a little different. It's kind of like a... Even though it is like two cents, it kind of almost sounds like some brass. Right? Hard. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like a lot of these presets have a good amount of like uniqueness to them. You feel me? That's hard. I feel like if you did pads right, your bang's gonna be hard. Pads, they just need to, they need to be good. You feel me? Yep. 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 Good for layering. Really, really good for layering. That one will go kind of crazy. Let's get to some of the arts. It sounds very mysterious. Definitely a lot of personality in these. And now the last one we need to talk about, the one that started everything, you feel me? West Coast Magic Volume 1. This was my first first analog lab bank and if you ask some people they might say it's the best one if you're asking me i personally like west coast magic 2 when i go to use my own presets i find myself going to west coast magic 2 the most out of any bank that i got the pads bro like the pads i feel like i snapped on them bro <laughs> When it comes to just things that I need in beats, this bank just has what I need, you feel me? Also, this one has some of my favorite basses that I did. Yep, that one. Between West Coast Magic 1 and West Coast Magic 2, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would say West Coast Magic 1, and on paper, I get it. Let's go over some of the stuff on West Coast Magic 1, bro. such a great accent for like a beat. Hard sounds. It's hard to argue with West Coast Magic 1. It's like the Godfather. I mean, these are hard. These are all hard. I have not clicked a bad preset yet, bro. All right. So with that being said, I don't know why I threw my hands up. All right. Let's get <laughs> all right. So with that being said, that's going to conclude the video. If you want to get Summer Nights right now, click the first link in the description. My name is Devin. I was by Infinite or Prop by Infinite. If you like the video, hit the like. If you want to comment, throw a comment. If you want to sub, hit the sub. And I'm out, brother.